Hi, it's Jason with Accio. Let's take a look at our Generative BI reporting feature. Now, I've already uploaded my data set, but when you connect your data to Snowflake, Salesforce, or you upload a CSV like I did, you'll be presented with this screen here. I'm going to click Edit Project Goal to show it. It says, describe the goal of the project to get your AI-generated report. And this is lead scoring data, so I entered I'm a marketing manager, and I want to know which of the leads coming in are of more value and which attributes make them so. I'll regenerate that report because I've already done it, but let's see what it comes up with. We get a little dialogue at the bottom. I can continue to work with my data as it's being built. It takes about a minute for this data set. There we go. It says your generative, generative BI report is ready. I'll click view. Now let's see what we got. We got a violin plot showing the distribution of positive leads against email click rate. Interesting. Uh, pretty evenly distributed. Uh, box plus showing email open rate versus positive lead. Again, fairly evenly distributed, but you can kind of see as they open the email more, it goes up. Distribution of company size among positive leads, uh, pretty distributed. Now here we go, histogram. The more you visit the website, the more likely you are to become a positive lead. That actually makes sense. Scatter plot, that's pretty evenly distributed. We have another box plot. Again, it doesn't matter your job title necessarily. If I scroll down here, let's see what else we have. Bar chart, here we go. Number of people who attended webinar, there we go. If they didn't attend the webinar, they still became positive leads. But if they attended the webinar, they're far more likely. Here's the interesting thing. There's 426 people that attended the webinar and became a positive lead. There's 808,000 that didn't and there's 524 that didn't attend the webinar and still became positive leads. There's actually more in this bucket than there is over here, but they're more likely. It's a very good indicator that they become a positive lead. So it's really interesting, it shows the distribution. I really like that chart. That's one I would definitely save or I'd show my approach to it. Um, again, this is just showing the distribution of website visits, industry distribution, industry versus company size. It, what this tells me is that my data is pretty evenly distributed. I have a good set of email open rates, web, uh, webinar visits, whether they respond to the survey or not. This is the biggest one for me here. This really tells a great story for me. The point is, with our generative BI reports, you get a good idea of what's in your data, what's useful and what's not. If something's not interesting to you, let's just hit delete and remove it, and then we can generate a new report.